yeah. with Mahombi. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm very, very, very excited, yeah. Bwana Wakili, to Thank have you, you this morning yeah. uh, to open the doors for the rest because yeah. I know this is going to be a very wonderful conversation. But yeah. all in all, for those who are listening to you for the very first time, they're wondering, Bram, who is this Wakili? We've had so many Wakilis in studio. Kindly introduce yourself before we actually start uh, the topic today. Ah, uh, Bram. Right. Uh, I am uh, Edwin Simi Wabuge, mm -hmm. uh, an advocate of the High Court. Yeah, I have uh, been uh, journeying with our listeners uh, some Tuesdays. Yes. Uh, I normally come uh, to give, to share uh, on uh, different topics. Okay. Yeah, I belong to a group called AFC or Answers from a Catholic Kenya. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Wakili. For your mm. time, I know you have a tight schedule, but mm. now you agreed to actually be the first among the rest mm. to actually ensure that we steer the boat forward this year, 2024. And uh, fair enough, we are beginning with the prayer, Bwana Wakili. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes. You know, um, most of us pray. Mm -hmm. Not all of us pray, okay? Yeah. But um, fair to say that if you ask people mm -hmm. what the definition of prayer is. Ah, Abraham, <laughs> uh, this is a very interesting conversation. <laughs> yes. Bearing in mind mm -hmm. that uh, uh, on the mission Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, the Holy Father designated this year, mm -hmm. uh, 2024, as the year of prayer. Of prayer, yeah. Uh, he told us that uh, we need to prepare for the Jubilee year, mm. 2025. Yes. And the better way to prepare for Jubilee year mm. is to think and meditate on what is prayer. All right. How do we pray? Mm -hmm. How should we pray and actually pray? Okay. And he told us to focus on a particular prayer called Our Father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, you've asked most interesting question, what is prayer? Mm -hmm. uh, while preparing for this topic, there is something that came to me. I remember last year, in the course of last year, mm -hmm. when uh, one of the speakers from AFC was talking about uh, faith. Yeah. He said that faith uh, is a response uh, to God. Mm -hmm. uh, and how do we respond or how are we seen uh, mm -hmm. to respond to God? Mm -hmm. So as a response to God, mm -hmm. uh, basically, it means that... Uh, we acquiesce to God by believing and trusting in Him. Mm -hmm. Prayer is the connecting, uh, is the connecting factor okay. uh, between us and God. Mm -hmm. It is it connects us to God. Mm -hmm. It opens access mm -hmm. so that we can act uh, this faith. We can act this uh, unconditional trust mm -hmm. that we have in our Lord. Uh, in, in our God. Mm -hmm. So, what is prayer? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Bram, you know me, I like history a bit, and uh, I was looking at this word, where did it come, come from? from. <laughs> where did it come from? Uh, and, 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 and one thing I learned is that uh, 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 before England uh, became England as we know it today, there was the Norman Conquest. Okay. Uh, Normans were some Vikings who had settled in France initially mm -hmm. and uh, they conquered England in 1066. Mm -hmm. And with that, they came with their culture and language, mm -hmm. which highly influenced the people uh, that we know today belonging to United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, they came with certain words. So one of the words that they came with is the word prier. Okay. And the word prier... Mm -hmm which is, comes from French, mm -hmm. means to request, mm -hmm. to beg, or to plead. Okay. And, and, and uh, from an ordinary sense, when someone is pleading, mm -hmm. then you are coming from a very humble position. position. Yeah. You are coming from a very humble position. Mm -hmm. You are requesting a higher authority. authority. Mm -hmm. And that was the best way to describe this act of communion between man mm -hmm. and God. Mm -hmm. That prayer, man uh, recognizing that God is the originator and responding to the experience that they have of God, mm -hmm. what do they do? They beg God. Okay. They seek access to him. Mm -hmm. And the better word to describe this act of communion with God mm -hmm. is prayer. Okay. So that is where we got the word prayer. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, 
one of the interesting things, uh, if uh, you someone uh, does a search, even a basic search on the internet, mm -hmm. if you are asked what is the origin, what is the history mm -hmm. of prayer, where did it originate from? Now that is a most interesting question because you will not find very many references, mm -hmm. and the only references that you'll find is that man, by his nature, is a religion and he has a religious dimension in him. Okay. And having that religious dimension from time immemorial, mm -hmm. from the point of creation, you can see in the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. uh, in the story of Genesis, they say that man was walking with God. Yeah. That is a cryptic reference to the fact that man was continuously in a prayerful moment mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. So uh, due to their own spiritual nature, mm -hmm. Man, in all uh, the cultures and uh, all the cultures of the world, recognizing this, that uh, their spirits are created for God, they always have this longing to God. Mm -hmm. They always try to reach out. They always try to reach out. So it has no history. The history of prayer is the history of oh. man. <laughs> okay. It's the beginning of man. Of man. man has yeah. always been in this continuous mm -hmm. longing for God, in this... Uh, continuous. I'm longing to see God. And how do they see God in their daily lives? Mm -hmm. It is through prayer. That is the point in which they are able to meet God. Mm -hmm. They are able to have this conversation. So, uh, what, is, uh, what is prayer mm -hmm. in itself? So, prayer uh, is approaching God mm -hmm. uh, in a humble, uh, trustful position. Mm -hmm. Approaching God in a humble, uh, trustful position. Mm -hmm. Sharing with him our experiences of the day. Sharing with him our joys. Having this dialogue between these friends. God is our friend mm -hmm. as much as is our father. Yeah. Sharing with him our experiences, our joys. Entrusting to him our worries. Placing in him uh, with all our mind and will mm -hmm. what we want and all our desires. In fact, some of the saints... Uh, describe uh, prayer as it's the raising of one's mind and heart mm -hmm. to God mm -hmm. or requesting of good things from God. That is uh, uh, St. John Damasin, mm -hmm. uh, one of the church fathers. St. Therese of Lysic mm -hmm. says that uh, for me, prayer is a surge of the heart. Mm -hmm. It's a surge of the heart. It is a simple look turned towards heaven. It's a cry of recognition mm -hmm. and love embracing both trial and joy. Okay. So at the end of the day, there is this elevation of man that as we respond to the, uh, our experience, our own experience of God, mm -hmm. as little as we are, even as children, though they have not even formed words, mm -hmm. but they are able to express uh, they're able to express through the actions. You can see them kneeling because they recognize. Mm -hmm. uh, they recognize even at, uh, 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 as nascently formed as they are, mm -hmm. that uh, there is someone who is bigger than even my parents, mm -hmm. and I need to give them the reverence. Mm -hmm. So how do I meet them? So uh, through their internal mm -hmm. uh, and mental acts, they are able to commune with God. And you can, you can see even the essence of prayer, that uh, this dialogue, this conversation of with God, uh, this longing to be in communion with God is very, very important that even Christ who is a reflection of the Father uh, in his moments on earth, what does he do? He prays to the Father so that he is continuously attached to the Father so that the relationship between him, who is God, who is actually a reflection of Father mm -hmm. and the Father himself is uh, is, is inextricably bound mm -hmm. always. Okay. So what about man? What about man? A uh, man who is a friend of God, who is, uh, whom we share, uh, I mean with Jesus Christ, we are adopted sons of the Father. Mm -hmm. How much more do we need prayer in our lives? Right. So this expression of our desires mm -hmm. that we are talking about, the expression of our desires, whether for ourselves and for others, mm -hmm. is quite essential. That is what we are going, we are calling prayer. Mm -hmm. It is uh, uh, the expression itself mm -hmm. is not intended to instruct or direct God. And, 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 and perhaps that is where we make a God. We, we make a mistake. We go to God. Mm -hmm. uh, we, with, we, want, uh, we make demands to God. To God yeah. We want to transform him so that he conform 
to our will, will. Yeah. Uh, or what we want rightly put okay yes. because that is exactly yeah. where what is to to, yes. to go yeah. but before we proceed i want us to take a very very short commercial yes. break mm. then we'll be coming back with that particular element that you've actually brought up Thank and the you. attitude uh, in which we ought to pray or ought not to pray with zero seven twelve two two three three eight five still remains the sms line the catholic radio for all Vocational Training and Production Center is a college led by Benedictine Fathers in Nairobi. It's announcing January intake, which is ongoing in the following courses. Plumbing, welding, motor vehicles. Radio Mini 88.3 uh, My dear listener, we are here with uh, Buana Wakili Simiu talking about prayer. And Buana Wakili, you've actually taken us back to the history, the origin of prayer. And I love that history, uh, Wakili Asante Sanam. And as you are talking, Wakili, there are a few things that I've actually uh, picked up um, uh, within your definition of prayer. And you've defined prayer as approaching God in a humble, trustful position. Okay? Mm -hmm. Meaning, remember, God is the highest authority. Yes. Okay? So mm -hmm. I'm approaching God from that particular angle. Mm -hmm. So there must be a servant master relationship. relationship. Yes. That's what you are saying. Yes, yes. That is number one. Number two, we must have the element of humility. Yeah. Which will act which which acts as the foundation of prayer. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That is another thing that I have picked from your presentation. And then number three, of which you were talking before we went to uh, uh the commercial break, the attitude in which we ought to pray and which we ought not to pray. Because as you said, most of us are praying with the attitude of instructing God or directing God to conform with our will. Yeah. Please, please proceed. Yeah, so uh, in fact, the cate Catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, paragraph uh, 2559, uh, notes that uh, uh, the foundation of prayer is humility, mm -hmm. uh, Bram. Yeah. And, 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 and with that, when we are making our appeal, when we are making this request, when we are begging God, mm -hmm. we need to go there. We are begging. Mm -hmm. We are begging. Right. The master servant relationship that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. We are not instructing God. Remember, we cannot change God. Yeah. We cannot change God. Therefore, we need to appeal to him right. and therefore when we are appealing mm -hmm. what what uh, that does is that uh, we tap into his goodness mm -hmm. so that he provides for us the gifts the proper gifts or uh, the graces mm -hmm. uh, that we need uh, to sustain but uh, the other question as I look at that is mm -hmm. is this appeal necessary mm -hmm. is God ignorant of our desires of what we need God is not ignorant, mm -hmm. but when we go to him a begging, we open our hearts. We open our hearts to him. Mm -hmm. He understands our relationship, that uh, we are dependent on him. We have this close relationship with him, mm -hmm. and therefore he's able to give us uh, what we need. You've asked about uh, uh, basically... Uh, the attitude that we need to go to prayer. These are what we call also the conditions, mm -hmm. uh, the conditions of prayer. Yeah. Uh, these are, are things on which the efficacy of prayer depends, depends on. on and the first thing, Bram, mm -hmm. is as we approach God, the object, what we intend to get from our prayer mm -hmm. must be worthy of God and must be good. Right. Not only for us, but also for others. Mm -hmm. If we approach God and our desires are perverted, then 
God will not grant our wishes. All right. The second thing, Bram, that we need is the faith. Mm -hmm. We started saying that faith and prayer go hand in hand. Yeah, because faith is the response to God. Yeah, faith is the response to God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and therefore, uh, we must abandon ourselves to his will. When we are praying, when we are asking, when we are presenting our desires, we must abandon ourselves mm -hmm. trustingly mm -hmm. and believing mm -hmm. that uh, whatever we are asking mm -hmm. to God, we shall be given. Mm -hmm. If we don't have that faith and trust, then realizing it, and, 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 and God reads our hearts, the genuineness and sincerity with which we have approached him. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if we are insincere, if we don't approach him, fully abandoning him and accepting his will, mm -hmm. that uh, though I'm praying for this, there is also the option that this can be delayed mm -hmm. for later because God knows uh, the best time when to grant that wish, mm -hmm. then we we are not really in prayer. Mm -hmm. The other thing that uh, needs, and we've talked about this, you've mentioned the foundation of prayer, as you said in the catechism of the Catholic Church, is mm -hmm. humbleness. Yeah. There is that we, God is at an elevated position. We are looking at him, we are begging him. Just imagine we are going there placing demands. Instead of begging him, instead of pleading with him, instead of thanking him for the gifts that we've received, then there is an issue in itself. Mm -hmm. The other thing which is talked about in the scriptures mm -hmm. is that we need to pray with earnestness mm -hmm. and fervor. Mm -hmm. Prayer does not imply that one should be indifferent in the sense that one does not care whether God hears him or not. Or not. Mm -hmm. But... We should pray honestly, trusting and believing in God, in his divine providence that uh, we shall be provided mm -hmm. for this thing and continuously pray for it. You remember the story of uh, the unjust judge and uh, yeah. this widow. Mm -hmm. Co this widow continues knocking until the judge feels that uh, except for anything else, just to get rid of this poor widow, let me just grant mm -hmm. his wish. But God is good. He's not an unjust judge. Exactly. What more if we pray honestly? What more? Can God grant us? Mm -hmm. I like the way you put it. Mm -hmm. And now that you've actually taken us to the conditions of prayer, mm -hmm. then this begs the question, do we have the objects of prayer or what we ought to pray for? Yes, uh, Bram. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, that is one of the things that uh, we forget, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there are certain objects of prayer. At times, uh, 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 when we go to prayer, uh, we are taken to other things, but there are some basic things. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and one of the things uh, that uh, Christ talks about is that um, uh, we've said that, uh, f uh, that, that faith is a response to God and, 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 uh, and prayer is a way of acting it. So what determines our prayer? Even to pray, by the virtue that uh, we are willing to trust in God, mm -hmm. God gives us the initial grace to know and to discern what to pray for. Okay. So that, 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 that is the first thing that we need to understand. Mm -hmm. That even as we do our prayer, it is not that it is emanated out of vain. The grace of God, by the virtue that we've entrusted ourselves to God, mm -hmm. gives us or determines for us mm -hmm what or the content of our prayer okay but looking at it what are the objects of our prayer mm -hmm. one of the primary things and uh, and and we shall we shall look at this when we look at the necessity of prayer mm -hmm. is that man strives for his salvation mm -hmm. that uh, at the end of the day i want to be eternally happy with god and once we understand that that is our striving. Once the, 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 there is this longing within us, St. Augustine talks about that our souls are restless until they rest in you, O oh Lord. Yeah. So the same thing. So there is always this continuous cry. So when we pray, one of the things that we are looking at, the content of our prayer, mm -hmm. is for our salvation. That we want to achieve salvation. Mm -hmm. And also, what are the means of achieving it? So as we strive each and every day, we strive to be holy. Mm -hmm. We are asking God, lead us towards the holy path. Let us escape uh, temptation. Mm -hmm. uh, let us resist and escape yeah. temptation. Mm -hmm. Let us practice virtue. Mm -hmm. Because these are the things that lead us uh, to 
eternal salvation. Mm -hmm. We are asking that uh, when my last hour comes, I want perseverance so that I am not moved away from you, yeah. that I am firmly established in and with you. With you. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that uh, we ask in our prayer. Mm -hmm. Then Christ also reminds us that when we pray, there are also other, we are also asking for temporal goods. Goods, yeah. We are also temporal asking for temporal goods for mm -hmm. ourselves, mm -hmm. our daily bread. We are asking for good health. We are asking for strength. Mm -hmm. Those are temporal goods that help us actually live well and uh, be able actually to sustain uh, this relationship that we have with our Lord. Mm -hmm. We are asking our Lord that we need to escape from certain trials, certain mm -hmm. evils, the penalty of sins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the things when you're talking about prayer, the objects of prayer. These are the most important things that we are praying for. Mm -hmm. Bram, we talked about that this is a year of prayer, yeah. uh, that uh, the Holy Father has uh, marked this year as the year of prayer. So what are we praying for this year? Mm -hmm. We are praying for the Holy Father himself, mm -hmm. that in his work, he is properly directed and guided by the Holy Spirit, that uh, he is able to unite all of us mm -hmm. to himself and to the church and to Christ himself. We are also anticipating the part two of the synod uh, in October this year. Yeah. We need to pray for it as Christians. We need to pray for peace in the world. Mm -hmm. We need to pray for our local bishops. We need to pray for the local conferences mm -hmm. and uh, the guidance that uh, it continuously gives us. Mm -hmm. We as Kenyans, we have an economy yeah. uh, that has been tottering at the brink. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is misery, there is poverty across mm -hmm. uh, because of where we are. We need to pray for it. We need to pray for leadership. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that in this year of prayer we are called to consider. And there is actual guidance. If you go to the Vatican and Google the year of prayer, mm -hmm. uh, the Vatican sites, you'll be guided on the content of each particular day. That what do we need to pray for mm -hmm. each particular day. And the bishops in their own dioceses, they guide us that uh, these are our intentions for the month for this particular diocese. Right. So, yeah. Okay. And talking about prayer, Wakili, more commonly, mm. the father is addressed in the beginning of the prayer of the church, mm. though uh, they close the invocation by these words through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, yes. the question here is, to whom do we pray? Uh, uh, Bram, that is an interesting question yes. because it is the same question that separates us uh, with other monotheistic religions. Exactly. Uh, it separates us from uh, the Judaism mm -hmm. and separates us from Islam. Yeah. Uh, because for us, uh, one of the things that uh, we have, uh, we have, we believe in one God and in three divine. Uh, I mean, in, in, in one God, there are three divine persons. Yeah. So, uh, and 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 in this relationship. Um, in this relationship, most of the times, even Christ himself, when he's teaching us the prayer of our Father, he begins by our Father mm -hmm. who art in heaven. In heaven yeah. So, mostly, the first reference that you are making when you are praying, we are praying to our Father. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, one of the bishops, Bishop Baron, uh, Robert Baron, gives a very interesting uh, view of this. Mm -hmm. That uh, when we are actually praying, we are praying to the Father mm -hmm. and with the Father, mm -hmm. uh, enmeshed basically in the arms mm -hmm. uh, of the sun okay. enmeshed in the arms of the sun with and through the holy, holy spirit, spirit because <laughs> we are uh, basically the holy spirit is the love between the father and the son mm -hmm. so uh, basically we uh, when you are praying, we are also in this love. Mm -hmm. We are also sharing or enjoying or participating in the love between the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so th th that is a very interesting. That um, when at the end of the day we are appealing to the Father, mm -hmm. it is not in exclusion. It is not in exclusion to the other divine persons. Right. Uh, so more commonly, we address our prayer to the Father, and we end with the invocation that uh, you've said, uh, that uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son who liveth and reigneth in the unity of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. without end. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you realize we are enmeshed. We are enmeshed, though we are addressing our prayer to the Father as right. Christ did, mm -hmm. but we are enmeshed in this love between the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. So under prayer to one, 
prayer to the Father, or even if you are praying to the Son, does not exclude or it does not mean that you are not praying to the Father. Father. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that is what separates us okay. uh, from the other monotheistic religions. The religions. Yes. Well put. Yeah. And talking about uh, uh, the elements of uh, prayer, Wakili, mm-hmm. you've actually taken us through the conditions of prayer, and I'm looking at the first one that must be worthy of God and mm-hmm. for us and for others as well. Mm-hmm. You'd realize that there is something that you said, and I agree with you, that in a as far as you are praying, that doesn't mean that God is ignorant of our needs. Yes. That begs me ask this question. Mm-hmm. What is the necessity of prayer if God is not ignorant of your needs, my needs, and our needs? Yeah. So, Bram, you remember that uh, when I talk about objects, I said uh, the first object, the highest of objects is that we are praying for our salvation. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, my experience is that uh, 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 I, I can answer that question in one phrase. <laughs> he who does not pray has himself for Satan. Okay. He who does not pray has himself for, for Satan. Satan. In fact, there is one saint who says uh, that um, uh, uh, you once one loses, if I paraphrase her, if one loses the art of prayer, mm-hmm. They don't need Satan to tempt them. Okay. Uh, they don't need Satan to tempt them. Because you've basically exposed yourself. You have surrendered yourself. You have surrendered yourself. Exactly. Yeah, so prayer, the necessity of prayer is necessary to our salvation. Mm-hmm. You cannot say, uh, and, 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 and I, would li- I would like to give this analogy. Mm-hmm. Uh, for instance, uh, you, uh, for those who are married mm-hmm. and uh, for those who are in relationship, uh, the relationship between opposite sexes mm. um, that uh, you love your spouse yeah. and you don't converse with them mm-hmm. that relationship is broken that is it is non-existent yeah. you need to cultivate that environment where you are continuously talking to your spouse yeah. you cannot say that uh, you have a friend and you don't converse with them. Actually, communication is the backbone. A communication is the backbone. Yes. And communication is the essence of this response mm-hmm. to our creator. Mm-hmm. It opens the access. Mm-hmm. It's sort of uh, in the internet age, it opens the portal. Exactly. It opens yeah. the portal mm-hmm. to God. So uh, the thing is uh, that uh, prayer is, in, is, is so... Uh, bound Mm -hmm. to our salvation that we cannot do without it. Mm -hmm. Uh, If we want to avoid evil, if we want to avoid evil, you cannot say uh, that uh, you can avoid evil Mm -hmm. without being in this relationship with God, understanding his precepts. And how do we understand? Contemplating him, Mm -hmm. being in this relationship. So, at the end of the day, the most important thing uh, is that prayer is the essential opener mm-hmm. is the essential is 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 is, 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 is the access mm-hmm. to our own salvation and 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 uh, perhaps now that you've mentioned it mm-hmm. uh, christ also urges us to pray always because he understands if we lose prayer we've lost god, god. if we've lost the relationship with god so there is an obligation that is incumbent mm-hmm. on all of us to pray to pray without ceasing. Mm-hmm. But pray without ceasing does not mean that we pray every, mm-hmm. uh, that uh, the entire day mm-hmm. is just spent on prayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there, there are these uh, in ancient, uh, around 360 AD, uh, there was this heresy called uh, the, uh, the Euchite mm-hmm. heresy. Uh, or the Messalians. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what... Um, uh, what these Uchites uh, did, uh, they prayed unreming- unremingly. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole day, mm-hmm. they will spend it in prayer mm-hmm. because they believe that it's only in prayer uh, that uh, one received the grace to chase away evil. You're right. Now, why it is a heresy, it is that um, these guys did not uh, believe in the... Uh, uh, in the sanctifying grace of mm-hmm. the sacrament, especially the sacrament of baptism, that uh, within it uh, we obtain the grace, mm-hmm. uh, we obtain the grace, 
and uh, it uh, basically through the sacraments our sins are remitted okay. they did not believe in that they said that only prayer mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 by uh, if we spend all our time without doing the other things mm -hmm. uh, we without doing the other things that we are supposed to do work for instance mm -hmm. Uh, then we are actually uh, going back to this heresy. And, 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 and uh, one of the things, um, actually our entire day, our entire day, what we do, our work, mm -hmm. because of the, the continuous acts uh, of prayer that we do in the morning, in the afternoon, and that, it is part of our prayer. Right. It is part of our prayer. So it is not even in vain because also our work, because it serves humanity, mm -hmm. it is part of prayer. prayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, when we say that we pray, it does not mean that we spend 24-7 uh, of the 365 uh, days mm -hmm. of the year uh, in the chapel. Okay. That is not what it means. Mm -hmm. But what we need to do is to have moments of prayer mm -hmm. in the day and work that we do should always be offered as part of our prayer mm -hmm. for all our intentions and the intentions of our friends. Of our friends. Yes. Okay. And I, and, and, and I like that, mm -hmm. uh, Bonwakili. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much uh, in as far as this conversation is concerned. As we uh, continue, because I know our time is actually yes. moving forward, I know this is just a builder for the conversation we're going to be having uh, because we, we have to talk about types of prayer, we have to talk about how we need to pray yes. and many other things. But you've actually... Uh, uh, said about um, uh, our Holy Father's uh, intention for this year. Mm. What is the meaning of year of prayer? Uh, uh, as I said, uh, this is an interesting conversation that we are having at yeah. the beginning of this uh, first session of 2024. Yes. Uh, interesting because it is also uh, the year of prayer. Yeah. Uh, this was the designation that was given uh, by our, the Holy Father uh before advent mm -hmm. uh, on mission sunday yeah. so every year uh every year on mission sunday or before the holy father announces the intention mm -hmm. uh for that year uh, last year was the year of the council mm -hmm. we were reflecting about uh, vatican two the primary documents uh the constitution uh they are called the constitutions um uh, dogmatic constitutions. Mm -hmm. So um, these four, there are four primary documents of Vatican II. Mm -hmm. The Holy Father called us to reflect and uh, read about them. Mm -hmm. uh, the documents were uh, on sacred liturgy. Mm -hmm. It's called Sacro Sanctum mm -hmm. Concilium. Okay. Then you had Lumen Gentium. Mm -hmm. It is about the church. The church. Mm -hmm. it's a, we had Verbum Dei on divine revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Gaudium et Spes. So this year, and, and, and all this, uh, since 2015, mm -hmm. there has been preparation of the church towards Jubilee, mm -hmm. uh, the Jubilee year in 2024. Mm -hmm. And in the Jubilee year, 2025, 2025 sorry, yeah. uh, there is, a, uh, in that year, mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, the faithful, uh, the doors will be open for the faithful to get what you call plenary indulgence. Right. We spoke about plenary indulgence, but even this year we'll talk about plenary indulgence even as we prepare mm -hmm. uh, towards the Jubilee year. Okay. So this year has been designated as the year of prayer. prayer. Mm -hmm. So as the year of prayer, uh, what does it mean for the Pope to say that this is the year of prayer mm -hmm. as we pray towards uh, the year of Jubilee? Mm -hmm. So uh, the Holy Father basically wants us to reflect on our communal and individual life of prayer mm -hmm. and he says that uh, we need to understand what is prayer mm -hmm. why do we pray how do we pray and why do we pray okay. and under uh, this for two reasons uh, basically it is to encourage people to go deeper mm -hmm. in their commitment to pray and in their life or in their love for God mm -hmm. as we pray we increase uh, our love for God increases yeah. Uh, because the relationship becomes firmer. So, uh, in this particular year, what we are supposed to do is, uh, as Catholics, we are supposed to come up with initiatives, uh, dioceses, and also as individuals, we are supposed to come up with initiatives to remind ourselves and, uh, and, 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 and also 
uh, the community around of the centrality of prayer mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and one of the things the Holy Father has identified is that um, we need to focus more on the prayer of our Father. Mm -hmm. And why do we need to focus on the prayer of our Father? Mm -hmm. I talked about that his intent is for us to understand why do we pray, how do we pray, and why do we pray. Mm -hmm. All this is found within the prayer of our Father. All right. First, it is God himself who teaches us how to pray. He teaches us that we need to call God our Father. Mm -hmm. That is number one. In it, there is, we've talked about the object of prayer, prayer. Yeah. including the temporal goods. Mm -hmm. He talks about our salvation. So there, everything, that prayer is very rich because everything is found within that prayer. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Father now invites us that um, we need to go into the comforting arms of mm -hmm. his son. Mm -hmm. Remember this prayer, how he taught us and search our hearts, open ourselves to him. And with that, he will strengthen our relationship with him. Okay. And as we approach the year of Jubilee, we will realize more mm -hmm. fruits okay. uh, from it. All right. Yeah. Fair enough, Bwana Wakili. Mm -hmm. Our time is up, but let me give you a minute to actually give you a parting shot as we mm -hmm. conclude. Uh, as we conclude, Bram, as you said, uh, we need part two. Yeah. Uh, we need to talk about uh, the forms of prayer, how do we pray, because we've not talked about that, yeah. and uh, amongst other things. But as we part, uh, and, 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 and uh, there is a statement that I made, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, prayer is essential. Mm -hmm. It is like breathing. It is what waters our spiritual lives. Mm -hmm. It is what bounds, um, it's what binds our faith in God. Mm -hmm. And, the, and, and, and uh, we've said that our prayer, uh, prayer is necessary because it is intimately uh, and uh, and intrinsically bound to our salvation. If we don't pray, mm -hmm. we lose our salvation. Mm -hmm. And I want to end by this statement uh, to our listeners, mm -hmm. that he who does not pray has himself for certain. Powerful. Yeah. Wakili, thank you so much thank for you, coming thank you for and setting the stage for the subsequent shows about other things that we're going to be talking about. But most importantly, uh, God willing, we'll continue with the prayer so that we can wind up and then we shift to other things as well. Yeah. All right. Asante sana Wakili. Thank, thank you very much, Bram. Thank yes. you for having me and have a wonderful year to our listeners. Have a wonderful year. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much, Wakili. And also have a wonderful uh, year as well. As Wakili has said, my dear listener, prayer is like breathing. If you lose it, you also lose your soul. That has been our time. Up next, news highlights, and I'll be coming back with the third hour of the morning tide. Don't go too far. This is radio.